Good morning, I'm Dr Kerry Chant from New South Wales Health with the COVID update for Boxing Day, Sunday the 26th of December 2021. Across New South Wales, we have 95% of people aged 16 and over have received a first dose of the COVID vaccine and 93.5% have received two doses. Of people aged 12 to 15, 81.6% have received a first dose and 78.3% have received two doses. There are currently 458 COVID cases admitted to hospital, with 52 people in intensive care, 15 of whom require ventilation. There were 6,394 cases of COVID reported in New South Wales in the 24 hours to 8pm last night, and almost 110,000 COVID tests were reported during that period. A reminder to everyone across New South Wales to get vaccinated now if you've not had you yet had your first dose. It's really pleasing that we've reached that 95% target, but we can strive for even higher. And get your second dose as soon as it's due. We continue to see mostly unvaccinated people admitted to ICU, so getting vaccinated is a key to protecting yourself and your loved ones. Thank you to everyone who's come forward to receive your booster vaccine. New South Wales booster program continues to ramp up with New South Wales already delivering near, nearly 190,000 vaccine booster doses to help keep people safe and increase the levels of immunity in the community. We have seen that 12 to 15 year old age group continue to sort of sit there at that 81 to 82%. It would be great as we enter into the new year to see that rise and achieve the same levels we've seen for the over 16. So we need to push that, that vaccination coverage up to that 95%. So please, whilst you've got some time over this, this period, please book your children in to get vaccinated. New South Wales Health thanks the community for their incredible response in coming out for testing as um, a number of people are touched by COVID in the community. New South Wales Health advises people to get tested though if you've got symptoms, even if only mild, and to self-isolate until you receive a negative result. And this public health advice applies to everyone, even people who are fully or partially vaccinated. Around a quarter of people exposed to COVID may still develop their infection seven, after seven days. And for the next seven days, Close contacts should exercise caution and not enter high risk settings and avoid large gatherings. So just be a bit cautious and you can also use those rapid antigen testing if coming in contact with vulnerable people. It is important that we use, use our testing resources for our high priority public health purposes. And that's for people with symptoms or people that have come in contact and been exposed, particularly in indoor environments for prolonged periods to someone that's got COVID or anyone else that public health is directing to get tested. In other circumstances, you might want to consider the use of the rapid antigen test. If you want that additional assurance before you visit your loved one or attend a major event, use rapid antigen um, testing as a way of giving you that added um, confidence. But remember, if you've got symptoms at all, the PCR test, that standard test, is the best. Thank you again for your continuing efforts to get vaccinated, get tested and taking those simple precautions we know work to keep you and your loved ones safe and that's simply wearing masks whilst in indoor environments, making sure you choose well-ventilated outdoor areas for your gatherings, picnics, um, well-ventilated spaces. All these simple steps can just slow the spread of COVID in our community but my important message is get vaccinated. Thank you.